Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is FTL Faster Than Light. That's right, I am finally back with some more FTL as well, which uh, I should have been back with sooner, but it's back. Uh, and I am recording it, uh, is the other thing that's happening. I'm recording FTL while playing it. Um, and you know what? First time back, I should play the Kestrel, right? Like, I should just play the Kestrel because it's the first time back in a while. So let's let's go ahead and rename our ship. Let's let's name it. I know I'm probably going to be terrible at this game, I warn you. Uh, but let's name it the USS... Uh, mm, Prime Pooper. The USS Prime Pooper. Yes, that's right. Uh, we have the USS Prime Pooper ready to go. All right, here we go. We have the Artemis. We have the Burst Laser. Uh, we have some good stuff. We can power down the med bay. We could get our men. Ooh, I definitely want Zeramar as our pilot because that is a badass name. And Mallet sounds like a weapons guy. And Wai Xing. That doesn't necessarily sound like an engines guy, but you know what? It'll be okay to have him on the engines, I think. Uh, so it's been a long time since we did FTL. Uh, and I am pretty excited about it. Oh, wow. That is kind of a bummer, actually. Uh, can I go into the options here? Uh, where is it? Show beacon on hover. There we go. I don't know why that isn't just automatically enabled, because that is just the feature that is necessary. Like, I have no idea why that's not- Oh, good! Asteroid field! Haha! <laughs> My luck has returned, uh, to FTL, which is fantastic. Uh, that of course is a joke. Uh, my shitty luck is no fun. No fun at all. I wish there was a way to micro- Ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, their weapons are almost down. I can't quite see. Yeah, the weapons are pretty much down. Uh, it seems like the color fidelity is, like, way better. What do they want to give us? Four fuel! Yeah, that's that's a good deal. Four fuel, eight missiles. That's a real good deal. Hopefully we don't get hit by any asteroids. It is possible to get hit by asteroids, by the way. Despite the fact that we do have a shield, uh, that is theoretically possible. Uh, let's go here first before we go to that distress beacon. Try to go explore a little bit more. Uh, demand the surrender of their goods. Good. Okay, they're trying to escape, uh, which is quite the bummer. Hmm. What's their drone? I don't know what their drone is, which is kind of a bummer. But we're actually going to fire the Artemis. Oh, we're going to miss. That's great. Good weapons are down. Uh, I guess, you know what, we'll keep the Artemis up and we'll fire at their weapon system and hopefully we'll take that out. Uh, although, in hindsight, uh, which is always 2020, keep in mind. Uh, we probably should have went for their pilot room, because they're probably going to get away. I hope not. Oh, okay, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe they won't get away. I don't want to use so many missiles. If they're, if it's possible to not use them... Ah, we have to use it on this. That's a bummer, man. Okay, luckily he hit there, which was really stupid of him. Oh, come on. Uh, probably should have used another missile, but whatever. Uh, we failed... We failed miserably. Uh, I guess we'll go up here and jump on that way towards the distress beacon. We do want to get to that distress beacon, evidently. Or, not evidently. Well, I mean, I suppose there's evidence of it. Uh, let's, let's attack the automated ship. Take out their weapons, and hopefully we can get some missiles out of it. It's surprising to me that we got four missiles, but despite that, we still have so few. Uh, but this run's going pretty well so far, I'd have to say. If I were to give it, if I were to give it a grade, I'd say maybe a B minus. Okay, so now we can hit their pilot room, and then they should be dead. Pretty much. Sadly, we're gonna have to fire two volleys, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, whatever. We could always use the Artemis, but that would be poor play. Let's just say, that wouldn't be very good play on our part to, uh, to do that. But now we shouldn't miss, and they should be dead. Ballin'. Balling out. Actually, bowling. Ooh. Alright. Lots of missiles. Lots of scrap. Um. Okay. So we're still good this way. Uh. By the way, the game sound is really loud for me. Uh, which it shouldn't be loud for you, because hopefully I will have turned down the, uh. I will have turned down the. Whatchamacallit? The audio in post. Okay. We're good. We win. Yay! Now, theoretically, what should happen here is we should hit the first shot on their pilot room. It should go down, and then we can't miss. We couldn't miss! Ugh, that's a bummer. So, my theory was incorrect. Sadly, it turns out, um, it only affects afterwards. 
Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it didn't go down. Maybe it only went to two. Okay, so we got some extra stuff. That is ballin'. Uh, I think we're good to go here. We might be able to take that loop. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to surrender our crew to the slavers. That being said, though, uh, we also don't really want to fight them. Uh, we're going we're gonna to need, gonna need two volleys of burst lasers. Lasers of the burst! Okay, shields are down. That's a problem. That is a problem. Actually, weapon guy, go in there. Well, actually, shields being down isn't a big issue, in truth, now that I think about it. But that's okay. Take out their missiles. Good, okay, cool. So now that that's down, we can take out their weapons. Or miss on their weapons, you know, whatever. Either way, doesn't matter. Might as well get our shields back online. It doesn't really matter for us, but uh, it doesn't hurt. I think there's a fire going on on their ship. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah, let's take one of their slaves. Ballin! We actually got a Zoltan slave. That's really good, actually. How good is Wai Xing in the engine room? Not that great. Uh, Mallet could use some heals, so we're probably going to go ahead and get these two in there. Uh, and we'll probably get Wai Xing to be our new shields guy because we can get Kara, or Kara, depending on who you are, uh, in the engine room. And now we have an extra slot of power to, I guess, put in the med bay for right now, which isn't really necessary. But, you know, it's it's good for the future. So let's go to the stress beacon. Hopefully we get something good, like a quest. A quest would be ballin'. We are trying to... Yeah, we're gonna leave them alone. Uh, our ship... Our, our crew members, sadly, are not going to be able to deal with giant spiders. They have no combat skill. Well, let's explore the asteroid field. Nothing going on there. Uh... Well... This is safer. Yeah, let's go up here. This is safer. Safer jump. Aid the civilian ship. Okay, luckily they don't have any uh, teleporters, because that could have been a triple bummer. All the bummers would have been had, and no one really wants to see all of the bummers, right? I mean, like, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I ain't want no bummers, yo. Actually, I'm going to use a missile to take down their, uh, their weapon system, because otherwise, uh, it could suck for us pretty hard. Okay, we're actually gonna hit them in the, uh, in the shields, because likely... Actually, I'm gonna hit them in the pilot room, probably? Just in case... Yeah, okay, cool. Success, success. Success is had, contact the civilian ship. What a biatch. Like, seriously, civilian ship. Couldn't have stuck around, gave me some cool stuff. I would have been happy with it, just saying. Two missiles. They have drones. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna take this. Yeah, because they have drones. Drones could be a big issue for me. And I don't think I want to deal with drones. Just saying. Cell 3, yeah, fuck yeah. Awesome. Uh, so now we actually can get two levels of shield. The question is, do we want two levels of shield? Kinda? I guess so. I feel like we're missing an extra slot of power. Oh, right, because we got this thing going. Oh, I might as well keep it online then. Probably didn't have to get the second thing of power. Well, uh, they're both rock-controlled sectors, so I guess I might as well... And they both don't really matter so much. Yeah, I guess this one's better. I don't know. I don't know on what principle I thought that was better, keep in mind. But, uh, but I did. I thought it was better. And that's an important distinction, isn't it? Uh, except it's not. Let's uh, try to shield our ship, their ship with ours. Okay, we got some fuel out of it. That was worth it. A little bit of damage for some fuel. We didn't take that much damage either. Attempt evasive maneuvers. Hmm. Mine bites down. Ah, it failed. All right. Well, we took some damage. We need to get to a shop fairly soon. We have lots of money again, which is weird because we just uh, got Curious Sight. Did they patch the game and add in a bunch of different things? I haven't seen any of this. Smaller ship against the upper hand. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have some Mantis. Um... 
We should try to fight them. Okay, good, good. We can fight them in the med bay. So we're going to succeed here. Okay, we're still looking good. Luckily, they decided to stick in the med bay, which is great. Alright, they pieced it. Why Shing, you're a shields guy, weapons guy. Get things working. They shouldn't come back, right? I mean, like, I doubt that they're actually going to come back. Uh, I am glad that I used at least one Artemis there in that fight. Uh, but we managed to defeat the Mantis without taking, I don't think, any damage, so... That's pretty cool. Hey, we have 69 scrap. All right, we have to close the game, guys. That's the end. Uh, we have 69 scrap. I mean, can we get any better? We have reached the pinnacle of humor. Uh, all right. Well, the trading post does not like us very much. That sucks. Fuck that trading post. It's not like we needed you anyway. Community to on I need to take possession. Yeah, right. Yeah, we, we don't have the uh, teleporter, which is a bummer. Can we get anywhere? I guess we could get over here. Hmm. I think this is the only safe jump that we can make. Alright, pirates. Uh, they probably shouldn't be able to hit us. They might be able to. I don't know if that can fire two shots. If that can fire two shots, then they can hit us. No, no. Ah, balls. Alright, well, we didn't actually need to take down their, uh, their thing, turns out. Actually, I kind of want to take out their oxygen to be honest with you. Because then we'd get more stuff if we kept the oxygen down. So let's try to do that. Let's see if we can do that. I wish there was a way to fast forward. That'd be nice. Okay, so oxygen's down. We don't need to hurt it yet. Because hopefully the oxygen is draining from their ship. They're trying to replenish it, so we're going to hit it again. I'd rather not kill them. I'd rather get the oxygen to stay down. Hopefully we can starve them of their oxygen and succeed. Oh no, oxygen's up. Guys, I'm really trying not to murder you. I'm really trying to suffocate you instead. Uh, or you could you could surrender. That's another option. Let's try that. I'll I'll take your surrender. Probably, maybe. Uh, I don't know about probably. Let's just say yeah, you probably have a better chance of living. All right, fine. You guys are gonna die then. That sucks. Okay, 18 scrap. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upgrade blast doors just in case we get into an any engagement. Oh, gonna store immediately. Uh, shit. I guess we can go to the store. Probably. We can actually probably sneak in one more beacon jump. Oh, good. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and go in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up all the doors, and then we're going to close these doors. And get everybody in there. Oh, they totally patched the game. They made uh, they made this much more pleasing to the eye. Uh, or be easier to tell whether or not you can uh, do things. Yeah, oh. I think we're going to have to close this door here, otherwise we're going to die. Okay, the fire's in there, but it should get suffocated fairly soon, I'd have to imagine, anyway. Uh, let's jump to the store. So we don't have to deal with any more fires. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's let's just close the doors here. Yeah, they totally patched the game. They must have added in a bunch of new uh, objectives and stuff. Not objectives, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. A bunch of new... Um, Events, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So let's see what we got in the store. We got the crew teleporter. We got tele uh, cloaking, which is not good. Drones, eh, none of that is that great. Which is kind of a bummer, actually. I, I was kind of hoping for something awesome. Might as well buy some fuel. We're pretty good on missiles right now. So I guess uh, I guess we'll just keep hold on to our money. Maybe try to upgrade something. Engines is probably a good idea. Are probably a good idea. Uh, and then we have the we have the power to do that as well. We've got the power. We do seriously have the power though. So you know, tell them that their god sent them here to join our crew. Ah, good. All right. Well, these guys can do lots of damage to us, so we're gonna have to deal with them as quickly as we possibly can. Now, hopefully, here's what I'm gonna do. Fire. Aha! Success. All right. So uh, we're probably good here. I think. 
because unless they have super quick repair powers, uh, we should be able to, you know, perma-stun them. Fuel to... Nah. That's not that great. Alright, we should hit this empty room, and they should go down. Uh, the reason that I'm hitting the empty room, by the way, is because they have rock plating, so if you hit a room that is, uh... Or actually, that might be the stealth ship. Yeah, actually, I'm just thinking of the stealth ship. Never mind! Oh, man, I would go to that store, but, uh, we just don't have the time. Plus, we'd have to make a redundant jump, which isn't that useful. Alright, that guy's a D-bag. Wherever he was. I should read these events. It would take so long, though. Ooh, anti-bio beam. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna use it, <laughs> but it's cool. Uh, Zoltan Homeworlds or Mantis Control? Well, I mean, that's that's a tough choice to make, but I guess I'm gonna go to Zoltan Homeworlds. I was kind of actually hoping that we would get to the Rock Homeworlds, because if we did, then we may... Eh, Alright, I have to go to the store, because likely we won't be able to get to it otherwise. Uh, we could buy another crew member, potentially, by selling the anti-bio beam, which I'm not going to use, so I know that. For surezies. Uh, getting an NG... Eh, could be a good idea. We could upgrade our ship some more. Get even more dodge. Let's see, if we do that... Oh yeah, that's a lot of money. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, we don't need an NG right now. Yeah, we don't need him, so it is probably better to upgrade our ship a bit. So let's do that. Let's get a little bit more dodge powers. So hopefully we have a better chance to dodge Thangs. Uh, yeah, let's... Nice! Alright, wow, we got a slug! That's really cool, actually. Uh, slugs are sweet, because they they can show us what's on the enemy ship. Uh, which isn't, like, super useful, but it's, uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not, like, a bad thing, you know, so. Hey, why not? I should have bought fuel when I was at the store, now that I think about it. Okay, so they're obviously going to the teleporter. We're gonna fire the Artemis. Good news is, we have guys to fight them. Who are going to get owned by the teleporter. Uh, Mantis Scum! I really do not like Mantis. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I am not a fan. Uh, we are gonna have to defend that, sadly. So let's go do that. Oh my god, they are owning the shit out of him. Jesus. Yeah, they're owning his ass, too. We kinda just need to hold them off. Because we can't let them take out the oxygen. We're gonna get valuable combat experience for our guys. They shall be vets. Okay, they're gonna piece it, which is good, because then we can uh, power this up. Which is awesome. You need to heal up. Their shields are up. Kind of a bummer. Are they teleporting back? Mallet, get back to weapons. Why shouldn't get back to shields? We should be good. Yeah, we took them out. Okay, good. Fantastic. Fuel, missiles, scrap, cool. All works out. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I'm like, I'm like the most excited. I may be more excited than the most excited man that ever did live. Uh, and he died. He, he, uh, he had a heart attack because of how excited he was. Hmm. Oh, good. This is bad. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good, my friends. Oh my god, is that a halberd beam? No, that's a... <gasps> Excuse me. That's not a glaive beam, luckily. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a uh, pike beam, I think. Yeah, it's a pike beam. Okay, did we miss our first shot? We totally missed every shot that we had on our first shot, which kind of sucks. Um, actually, they can't hurt us, so this isn't a big deal. So, because of that... Oh, wait, maybe they can. No, they can't. They can't hurt us. Unless they manage to get off, like, two blasts of the old... Uh, Who's a what's it? And you never want to get off a blast of the who's a what's it. It's bad for everybody. Bad for business, especially. Um, I'm probably going to use at least one Artemis shot just to speed this fight up, which is never a good idea to do things that way. 
Okay, let's turn off the Artemis. Let's get these guys working on shields some more because, like I said, they cannot harm us. Which is great. It is really nice having, uh, having two levels of shields this early on. We are going to have to think about getting three levels of shields soon, though. Because, uh, we are going to get into more dangerous encounters as time progresses. Also, as we get more powerful, uh, the enemy ships get more powerful. As we've seen when I've encountered the, uh, level 5 things. Or the level 5 shield dudes, which is kind of a total fucking bummer. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Anyway, sure that they heal. This is result in peace. We carry no weapons, shielding, and that. Ah, okay, let's hear them out. Take your silence, answer you there. Take your peace and harmony, but it's fine, your simple mind, or it's all nonsense. Please, brother, to those who have not, once you contact your brethren, they transit the court and so called brethren. Okay, so called brethren. That sort of implies that they're not actually brothers. Okay, this is cool. I could probably go here and still make it? I think. This is pushing it. This is definitely pushing it, but I think we should be able to do this. Let's participate in their study. Great. So, uh, same event, basically, and they gave me some shit. Holy dick balls. Okay. Um. Huh. This is actually a bad setup right now. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to let them do that. We're gonna have to depower our engines a bit and fight them in here. Which is fine by me. I would like to fight them in the med bay. If I have the choice. Shit. Um, we're actually gonna need him in here. Deal with this NG. I am gonna fire another Artemis as well. I don't need any more Artemises though. Artemisai, as I like to refer to them. And we're gonna hit their shields as well. Just, uh, make sure they go down. Can I, uh, I can't select anymore. Alright, why don't you get in there? Mallet, cool. Oh, we got an anti-personnel drone. That's cool. Something to sell. Which we probably will be selling in this shop that is coming up right now. Coming up next time on FTL, we are going to sell at a shop. Uh, beam drone. Well... Hear me out. We have an anti-personnel drone, which actually isn't that good. But, say we sell the anti-personnel drone, which we will do. We get drone control, which is 80. We also need to buy power. Which is a lot. And get a beam drone. Yeah, none of that's really worth it. A teleporter might be good. We, we do have a lot of crew members. Uh, I don't know. Would a teleporter really be good? I mean, it'd be nice. Wouldn't be bad. I kind of just want to get fuel and stuff, though. In all honesty. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to get fuel. I might get a few missiles. And then I'm, I'm going to upgrade our ship a bit. Uh, like, I want to get that. I don't have quite the power yet. So I'm going to hold on to my money for right now. Um, I could get some more power, which might not be a bad idea. But uh, let's just go to this quest and see what's going on there. Who knows, maybe it's something awesome. Nope. Oh, you right. But the only thing is rebel ship closing failed. We found you not to attempt to hail them. I can't imagine there's anything you can say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are... Uh, perhaps there could be rescued to defer that war. Our deal is different. So you, you think you, uh, the galaxy is huge. The kind of place for deals is causing these trouble. True price we only achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly all in our rebel ship fell away and fell to the... Captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Holy shit, he TP'd on my bridge, man. Uh, cool. I have done this quest before now that I think about it. But we have a whole smasher laser, which is pretty awesome. Which actually, uh, uh hold on one second, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. A uh, boom. And we have the whole smasher laser ready to go, which is awesome. Uh, and let's just go to the next sector. Which means we have two lasers going, which means we're also in a pretty good situation as far as things are concerned. Oh my god, maybe not. Okay, so we're definitely going to need the Artemis going. Uh, because these guys can blast the hell out of me. Yeah, this is going to suck. 
Weapons are down. Hole Smasher Laser is down. We're gonna get you moving over here. Artemis, hit him there. Okay, weapons are down, which is good. Artemis doesn't need to fire. Uh, let's get the whole laser on, and let's get it going over here. Uh, why Shen? Why don't you get back in your in your in your little spot, buddy? Whole Smasher laser does extra damage to un yeah systemless rooms. Okay. Ah, eh, nothing useful. That's a bummer. But anyway, off to the next sector. First time we took damage in quite a while, so you know, not so bad. Pirate controlled, NG controlled. You know, pirate controlled sounds better because we get better loot in a pirate controlled sector. Have more fights. Okay, so we definitely want to go here. We want to we want to get as much scrap as possible before we go to that store. Uh, two fuel, one drone part. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's do it. Did they not give me anything for that? I thought they... Is it in the next sector, the quest? That's kind of a bummer, actually. Two fuel, 19 scrap. It's okay. Uh, what do they got? They got a halberd beam, which could tear right through my shields. Nah. Let's attack the pirate. Alright, let's go ahead and get the burst lasers going. Let's get the shields working there. And hopefully, actually, we'll take this out ourselves. Oh, wow, really? Wow, really? Alright, so let's actually get the whole laser working over here, because that's probably better. Except the word generous bribe, bribe. Three missiles, uh, three fuel, six missiles, 19 scrap. I kind of want the scrap. I mean, six missiles is pretty good. Ah, we'll take it. Six missiles. That's good. I, I can live with six missiles. And we can keep exploring a bit. Uh, no. We're not going to surrender our crew. What do you think we are? What do you think we are, Mantis? Boo, hiss, Mantis. Which is like the Mantis gang, by the way. That's their, that's their, uh... Oh my god, that's a glaive beam. I did not realize, but that is a fucking glaive beam. Uh, we might die here. Gonna be honest, we may just end up dying. Hopefully I can take out that, uh, Zoltan Armory of Power. Oh my god! Okay, go, take it out. Okay, okay. We're doing better, we're doing better. Don't worry. Artemis, go for the shields. Why are we paused? Because we're getting our shields back online. Okay, fair enough. We actually don't need our shields back online. We don't need anything back online, really. Just have to make sure shit goes down. I think we should be good. Slave is a tribute. We'll take it. Get an extra guy repairing. That ain't so bad by my book or my standards. Both of those things. I have my book. My book, I have a book of standards, but I have a separate set of standards than my book. Um, it's just it's just how I like to roll. All right, anyway, let's let's go ahead and jump on over. Mm, yeah, that way. Hire the mercenary, or we could kick his ass. Which he does have a lot of power. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he's got big missiles, too. Don't like the big missiles, I'll be honest with you. But I think I'm going to kick his ass. Yeah, I'm going to kick his ass. Alright. So, we definitely need the Artemis going. We need both the whole laser and the burst laser firing at the same time if we're going to be effective here. Okay, sadly, we did not manage to take out their missile system. So, actually, we're going to get them going at the weapons. Yeah, cool. Missiles are down, even though they fired it. Oh, wow, that is a bummer and a half. Holy shit. They want to give us three fuel. Yeah, well, that's a deal that I already took once, so, you know, why not take it again? Yeah, that did loads of damage. Sadly, we were not able to uh, to stop the missile from firing. Not a big deal, though. Yvonne C. Allons-y. That sounds like uh, Doctor Who's Doctor Who's famous line. Allons-y. Which I learned today uh, means let's go. Obviously, I didn't learn it because uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. Uh, let's do all that. Uh, and let's go see what's going on in this goddamn store. 
I don't got the time for these goddamn snakes on this goddamn plane. Man, we did not get anything good at this store again. Again. Nothing to sell, I don't think. Ah, man, that is quite the bummer, I have to say. We're good on missiles, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with the amount of missiles that we have. God, that is really quite a fucking bummer, though. I was really hoping for I don't know something. Ship seems out for here to take a bit of mercenary work. Uh, means just to savage the damage the ship. We'll pay you know kill them all. Okie dokie. So obviously we are gonna <laughs> really you're gonna send an NG. All right. Well, I'll go kick his ass with my one guy. Uh, let's turn these off and hit them both at the same time. Oh, they have missiles. Oh, they have powerful missiles, actually. Really? We managed to miss. Alright, well, let's take out their missiles before we have to deal with their missiles. Or we won't. Never mind. Either way, you know. Okay, luckily that missed. Alright, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Oh my god, they gave me a burst laser mark three. Uh, holy dicks and balls. Well, I think we can actually run that, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, we can. That's pretty fucking cool. Which is better than the whole laser, to be honest with you. I mean, it's technically not, because we can actually get better damage output out of, um... Uh, we can get better damage output out of, um, the mix of the two. That being said, though, oh, everybody needs to heal, actually. Yeah, Charlie needs to heal. Kara needs to heal. Might as well get everybody healed up before we do anything else, right? That's good play. Mallet also needs to heal, so you get out of there. You go back in there. You are our engines lady. Who is this? Why, Shing? Why don't you get on over there, bro? Mallet uh, is our weapons fella. Okay, so now we have... First laser mark three. Problem being, yeah. See, our problem is that if we take damage at all on our weapons, then the burst laser is down. That being said, though, I mean, even if that happens, uh, we do have other weapons ready to go. Ready to blow. Holy shamo. Oh, dangerous business. Very, very dangerous business. So we're actually going to hit their shields with an Artemis Blast. Or their weapons, rather. And that's good. That's that's kind of uh, neutered them a bit. Wow, we missed. We missed all the shots. And there's a fire. There's two fires. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, let's get these guys in here to repair the fire. You... Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Are they going to kill us? Looks like they're going to kill us. Holy shit. Well, everything is going down. This is bad. Uh, doors are down, actually, which is a fucking bummer and a half. You get doors up so that we can use this. You, deal with... Uh, I guess not deal with the fire. Get back in here. Help him with the doors. Fuck! Well, my decisions have turned out poorly. Okay, doors are up, which means I can do this at the very least. Oh, good. Alright, evacuate that room. Let's clear it of oxygen. Wow. Alright, that all went really, really poorly. And everyone is hurt. And the ship is heavily damaged. Oh, come on! What are the fucking odds? Our shields are down. That's pretty good odds, actually. No, no, no. Close the doors. Close the doors. I don't even know where to keep him in order to maintain safety. Might as well get you guys in here. Get you in there as well, since you're all healed up. Pilot's still doing fine. Zeramar's cool. Everything else is good, so Yvonne C, you're good. Get Kara back there, get Charlie up over here. Wai Shing's fine, Mallet back over there. So we took loads of damage there. Um, 
largely... Oh, wow, why didn't we have our, any shields up? Wow, yeah, that, that could have been really close there. Um, yeah, so... Largely due to the fact that it takes a very long time for us to charge our Burst Laser Mark III, which is kind of a dick ball. Ball of dicks. And you, you know what, to be honest with you, you don't want a ball of dicks uh, when you're trying to deal with, uh, with pirates and space and all that? Balls of dicks? They're no fun! Okie dokie. Um, so we're gonna get the Artemis taking out their shields, hopefully anyway. He's doing some damage. It's getting to the point where it would be actually pretty nice to... Oh, come on. Alright, you gotta get to the med bay. Because shit is getting real up in here. Okay. So obviously we need to get more dudes to the med bay after this fight, which sucks balls. Sucks all of the balls. Every last one. Any balls that you've seen, it has sucked those. That's what, that's what has just happened. Uh, which ain't no fun, man. Well, I mean, it can be fun. If you like sucking on balls, I mean, hey, you know, uh, to each his own. I had oxygen off because I'm really dumb. Uh, well, we can make one more jump. Hopefully it's an Ion Storm, because I love Ion Storms. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's kick his ass. Oh, good drones. Oh, 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 yay. Oh, oh, yay. Oh, yay, oh, yay. I love fighting drones. Let's hit him in the shield. Actually, no, 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 turn off the Artemis. I did not see their defense drone. Almost wasted a missile there. Oh, good, we did one damage to their shields, yay! I mean, that's gonna be up by the time we get back. With the, uh, burst laser. You know, I don't know about the burst laser Mark III. It takes a long time. How powerful is Mallet? Not that powerful. Ah, eh, we're doing some damage to it. That's good. They can do lots of damage to us, though. Sadly, there's not really much else that we can do to stop this from happening. Oh, good, all the misses in the world. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. I would like to hit their pilot room, but I feel like if I hit the pilot room, then it's going to gum up by the time that I want to hit their shield room again because of how long. Come on. What do they have, like the highest goddamn evasion in the game? Wow, that was really lucky, actually. We have pretty good evasion, though, ourselves. I mean, we're already at 40% evasion, which is pretty damn good. You have to, you have to, you have to give me that. Come the fuck on. Jesus Christ. This fight's just gonna take a long time because they take forever to die. Oh, that one isn't gonna hurt because we have 40% evasion. That's cool. They are trying really, really, really. Well, alright, fine, fine. I hear your cries, and your cries are for us to hit the pilot room. Let's hit the engine room, actually. Because the engine room has probably higher health, and maybe a good chance to, uh... Okay, they're trying to escape. Good, that means, yeah, see, their, their shield room is online. I mean, we're gonna have to hit their pilot room now, which kind of sucks. But let's see, hopefully we can get them before they get out of here. I don't know, if we miss this shot, yeah. First laser mark three takes too long. So that was a total waste of fucking time. Like the biggest waste of time that the world has ever seen. Cool, so let's get out of here. Uh, oh, Rock Home Worlds. Okay, so we have a chance. Not a great chance, but we have a chance of getting um, the crystal ship. Actually, I don't think we do because we need, uh, we need to have gotten the thing before that. So, never mind. But, you know, things. You know, man? Now, I don't know if... Oh, good, it resisted. Okay, luckily that's not a firebomb. Missed most of our shots, which is phantasmagorical. That, of course, is not phantasmagorical. 
One level of shields is down. We're going to miss almost every shot. But that's okay. That is no big deal. Don't you worry. Oh, well, maybe worry. Maybe worry for a moment here. Good. We took him out. Fantastic. And we got some missiles out of it. Not quite breaking even, but almost breaking even missile-wise. Um, I, by the way, in case you're curious, I'm saving for the shop or shields, uh, is my next goal here. I would like to get some shields up and ready, uh, very soon, because, uh, that would be very, very nice. I don't know why it doesn't automatically put the power back in. That's kind of a bummer. I don't know if they changed that or not. But it kind of sucks. I'm gonna be honest with you. It ain't no fun. Let's say the civilian ship. Oh, shit, he's got a glaive beam too! Oh, and cloaking. Oh, good. Oh, oh, great. Oh, oh, ah! Oh. Okay, so obviously we have to hit their weapons. That's our main concern here. Because this glaive beam is gonna fucking suck. Come on, take the glaive beam out before it charges. It's almost ready. Great. Yeah, there it goes. Wow, luckily they did a terrible job. Of uh, aiming their blast. Which is good by me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, myself. Now, this may be poor decision making on my part. But I feel like going for their shields. Yeah! Poor decision making on my part. I don't know. Well, we could jump out. Oh, God. Is there anywhere we could go? Go to a distress beacon. Yeah. I think we're going to have to jump out of this fight. Jump to a distress beacon. I mean, it's entirely possible that that distress beacon could contain something great. Yeah, destroy it from distance. Oh, good. Are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Wow. I didn't know that could happen, to be honest with you. Wow. Well, we did very poorly. But hey, it's my first run back. It doesn't mean that we have to do, like, amazingly, right? Uh, the classic poop is by far the best. Uh, 4,076. That is, that's really high, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, top scores ever. Let's see. Uh, 4607. b b, -b ballin Classic Poop's up there. Classic Poop is up there. And the Space Penis and the Dildo Odoon are great. Wolf sucks. I like that one. Alright, well, anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. First episode back of FTL. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you want to see more. Or if you guys are fucking tired of FTL at this point. I mean, that's entirely possible as well. This game came out a long time ago. But I guess they have some new updates um, that are pretty cool. Uh, I would love to see if they add more items. I, I might uh, eventually start doing some mod stuff. Uh, because I know that there are some pretty cool mods so far uh, in the game. So, you know. You know, stay tuned for that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.